In this video, we can consider an example for the addressing modes. Contents SIC XC addressing mode. Example of target address calculation. Consider an example for the addressing modes of SIC XC. So in the following, figure 1A shows the contents of the registers B, PC and X and some selected memory locations. All values here we are using in hexadecimal form. Hexadecimal notation means base 16. In system software, all the problems will use that notation. And figure 1B gives a series of LDA instructions machine code. LDA instruction means load accumulator with the content of the operand address. Each instruction, LDA instruction has an operand value, which is a memory address. The content of that memory address is loaded into register A. So here we have to find out the target address generated by each instruction and the value that is loaded into register A. So what is meant by target address? We, we are having an instruction, for example, for instruction opcode is there and an operand is there. LDA, for example, LDA, an operand value can be a memory location, LDA M. So target address is the operand address oper in the operand where the operand resides in memory. From that target address, we have to fetch the operand and then this LDA instruction will be loading that operand value into the accumulator. So here in the problem, we have to find out the target address generated by each instruction and the value that is loaded into register A. Two things we have to find out, target address and the value loaded into register A. Figure 1A shows the content of the register B, which is equal to 0, 0, 6, 000. The content of program counter that is equal to 0, 0, 3000. These things are given, this figure is, will be given in the question. And also these values, this instruction values in hex form also will be given into in the question. And we will be asked to find out for each instruction, for example, 032600 is an LDA instruction. Find out the target address and the value loaded into register A for this one, for this instruction. So this register values will be given in the question, content of these registers and the content of these memory locations are also given in the question. These are the contents of the memory locations. Then the first question is 032600 which is an LDA instruction represented in hex form. In system software, we will use the numbers and represent the numbers in hex form. Hex form only because it is, we can write it easily compared to the binary form. So in order to do this problem, first the hex form, hex form means from the number starts from 0 to 9. After 9, then it will be A, B, C, D, E, F. That is the hex form. So here the number given, this instruction given in hex form has to be converted into binary. Then only we can find out which addressing mode by seeing the bits N, I, X, B, P, E. So for converting hex to binary, it is very simple. We all know that is each digit in the hex notation will be represented by 4-bit binary number. So first digit C it is 0 here. It is represented by four zeros. Then next bit it is three here. It is represented by zero zero one one. The next bit is two. The binary form of two is zero zero one zero. After two it is six. Six is represented in binary form zero one one zero. Then after six it is zero four zeros in the binary. Then again last zero bit is 0, that also 4 zeros in binary. So here, whatever given in hex form instruction, we have just converted and written into binary form. Now we have to write the format of the instruction. 
so this instruction how many bits how many bits will be there in this instruction so here if you count means each digit how many digits are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 digits are there so 6 into 4 24 bit so 24 bits bit instruction i have represented here 24 bit means 3 byte this format 3 so format 3 that format we have learned so that format i have we have to write down on the top so in the format First six bits represents the op code. First six bits means three, so four plus two, that is six. Up to here, it is the op code. The remaining other, the continuous other six bits represent NIXBPE, which is used to identify which addressing mode the instruction use. So uh, above that, I can write, above each bit, I will be writing NIXBPE. And the remaining bits, so 6 plus 6, 12 bits are over and remaining 12 bits represents the displacement or the address. Now from seeing this, we had to identify it is in which format. n equal to 1. n equal to 1 and i equal to 1 means it is both are 1 or both are 0 means it is not immediate and not indirect. x equal to 0, so it is not indexed mode b equal to 0, it's not base relative, p equal to 1, p equal to 1 means it is program counter relative, program counter relative. So in order to calculate the target address, what we had to do here, if it is program counter relative, content of the program counter, pc, content of pc, we have to add with the displacement, target address equal to displacement plus content of program counter. So what is the displacement here? Displacement value here is 110 40 second 40, which is that number? That is 600. 600 plus, what is the content of the program counter? It is given because it is 3000. So 600 plus 3000, that is 3600. That is the target address. Again, what is the value loaded into register A? Check in this address, what is the value? 3600 the value is 10300 so this is the value loaded into register a in similar way we have to find out all the other instructions so in question it will be given these instructions in hex form it will be given so next if we see the second row it is 03c300 so first thing we will be converting it that into binary form then we will mark the first six bits as op code and the remaining nix bpe and then the displacement and then from this nix bpe those bits we had to find out which addressing mode it is using so n and i equal to both are one means it is neither indirect nor immediate x bit see here x bit equal to one means it is indexed mode b that means content of x register we had to add with the displacement Again, B equal to 1 means it is base relative also. Then contents of base register also we had to add in the target address calculation. P equal to 0. E equal to 0. E equal to 0 represents it is format 3. If E equal to 1 means it is format 4. See the last instruction E equal to 1. Just to identify that it is format 4. So again, with this displacement value, we had to, so the, here this is the displacement. We had to add what all these. So here it is. 0, 0, displacement value is 0, 0, 1, 1, 4, 0, so again 4 zeros. So that is, it is 300. Displacement value is 300. 300 plus, what all things I have to add here? B equal to 1, content of base register. That is given 6000. Plus, again, X register value also 1. So, X register content is 90. So I'll be adding all these things and we'll get this value. Then value loaded into register A means in that memory location 6390, 6, what is the value? So that is a 00 C303. So that value will be loaded into register. So similar way you can calculate all the instructions. First converting into binary, then find out which addressing mode. According to that, calculate the targeted disk.
instruction set of SICXC. SICXC have the instruction format 1, 2, 3 and 4. These formats are available and all the instruction in SIC will also work in SICXC. Other than that, SICXC has some additional instructions. For example, load and store registers, LDB, STB, etc. Then floating point numbers are there in SICXC. So floating point instructions can be there. Add F, sub F, mult F, div F. Then register to register arithmetic operation instructions are there. In SIC, we have only add and the operand is a memory address. But here, add R, sub R, that means operands are registers. Mul R, div R, these are the additional instructions. Then a special supervisor call instruction, SVC, that is also provided in this. Then input output instructions. Similar to SIC, it is TD, test device, whether to check whether the device is ready. Then RD, read from the device, input device, and WD, write to the output device. And in addition to this, here it is, SIO, TIO, and HIO are used to start, test, and hold the operation of input-output channels. Thank you, everyone.